we already learned the IUPAC scheme of naming the hydrocarbons. So in this video, we are going to show you yung general formula ng ating mga hydrocarbons. So, in our previous lecture, natutunan natin that alkanes are those hydrocarbons that is having single bond. Alkanes are those hydrocarbons that is having double bonds. And alkynes are those hydrocarbons that are having triple bonds. Now, these are the general formula for our hydrocarbons. For alkanes, we have Cn h 2 n plus 2 for alkenes we have cn h 2 n and for alkynes we have cn h 2 n minus 2 where n stands for the number of carbon atoms so if you remember yung number of carbon atoms kinukuha natin siya dati for naming our hydrocarbon di ba so in using this general formula we also need to know the number of carbon atoms present sa ating hydrocarbon. So, and now we are going to use this general formula to determine the chemical formula and the chemical structure of our given uh, names na nandito ngayon sa ating uh, mga example. So, kabalik taran to ng ginawa natin sa previous lesson. Ano? So, let us start with problem number one. We have here butane. So, kailangan natin ngayon ma-identify kung ano ang chemical formula at ang uh, chemical structure ng butane. So, let's start by finding out kung ano ba yung number of carbon atoms natin. So, we know that the names of our hydrocarbon are divided into two. No? So, the first part of the name is the prefix depending on the number of carbon atom na nandito sa ating hydrocarbon. Ano? And then, the second part of the name determines kung anong klaseng hydrocarbon meron tayo. No? So, yung type ng ating hydrocarbon. So, let's start with the first part ng ating um, hydrocarbon. We have here but. Okay? So, if we have but, ano ngayon ang number of carbon atoms if we are using that prefix? So, in here, makikita ninyo that this is the prefix na ginamit, that means our carbon is equal to 4. So, therefore, we have here N is equal to 4. Now, the second part of our name ng ating uh, given hydrocarbon ends in A and E. So, that means this is an alkene. Diba? So, let's write here alkene. Okay, so now we know that this is an alkane and this is having a 4 carbon sa ating uh, given hydrocarbon. No? So now let us find out kung ano ang kanyang chemical formula. So we will be using this general formula here for alkane. So the general formula for alkane is Cn H 2N plus 2. Okay, now we know that our N is equal to 4. So, let us substitute that. We have C, 4, H, 2 times 4 plus 2. So, we have C, 4, H, 2 times 4 will be 8 plus 2. So, therefore, our chemical formula is C, 4, H, 10. Okay, so this is the chemical formula of butane. Okay, so, let me box this. So, now, kailangan naman nating makuha is yung uh, chemical structure ng butane. So, sabi natin, our carbon is equal to 4. So, let us write this down. 1, 2, 3, 4. And now, this is an alkene. Therefore, lahat ng bonds natin are single bonds. So, we will have here single bonds and carbon have 4 bonds. So, we will have it like this. And of course, this is a hydrocarbon, so lahat ng natitira rito are hydrogen. Now, let us see kung tama ba ang nakuha natin chemical formula gamit yung uh, general formula ng alkanes nandito sa taas. No? So, yan yung ginamit natin. At nakuha natin C4H10. 
Now, using this structure, tignan natin kung pareho. C4, that means we should have 4 carbons. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. Our hydrogen is 10. So, kailangan meron tayong 10 hydrogen dito. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, tama, no? We have 4 carbon and 10 hydrogen. So, therefore, this is the chemical structure of butane. Okay, so punta tayo sa next sample natin. No? We have here pentene. Okay, so first determine natin kung ilan ang carbon natin. So, ang preface na ginamit is pen. So, let us check dito sa ating uh, table here. So, we have pent in here. So, therefore, our carbon is equal to 5. Okay, so therefore, our N is equal to 5. And the second part of our name is ENE. -E. Therefore, this is an alkene. So, therefore, ito yung gagamitin nating general formula. CNH2N. No? So, yan ang gagamitin natin dito. We have CNH2N. Okay? So, our N is equal to 5. So, let us now substitute that. We have C5H2 times 5. So, therefore, we have c 5 H10. Okay? So, ito yung uh, chemical formula ng pentene. Now, let us get the chemical structure para ma-verify natin kung tama yan. Ano? So, in here, we said that we have total of 5 carbons. So, let us draw 5 carbons. And now, since this is pentene, that means we have double bond. Because alkenes have a double bond, no? at least one double bond. So, we will put our double bond right here. So, our carbon have four bonds. So, we will have one here. And for this, we have one here and one here. Then, these are having four bonds. Okay, so this is a hydrocarbon. So, lahat ng natitira rito are hydrogen. Okay, so now, sabi natin dito, our carbon is equal to 5. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, let's check if our hydrogen is equal to 10. Kapag naging 10 yan, then that means tama itong naging sagot natin using the general formula. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So, tama yung naging sagot natin. So, this is the chemical structure of pentene. Okay? Ngayon naman, let us solve the third one. We have octane. Okay? So, first we need to know kung ilan yung carbon natin dito. No? So, we need to find out N, the value of N. Ano? So, it used this preface oct. So, if we have a preface oct, here, that means our carbon is equal to 8. So, therefore, our N is equal to 8. Okay? And now, the second part is Y and E. Therefore, this is an, an alkyne. Okay? That means we have triple bond dito sa ating third example. No? And we will be using this general formula, which is Cn H2N minus 2. So, Gamitin natin yan ngayon dito. We have Cn, H2N minus 2. Now, our N is equal to 8. So, substitute natin yan dito. So, we have C8, H2 times 8 minus 2. So, therefore, we have C8, H2 times 8 will be 16 minus 2. So, therefore, we have C8, H14. So, ito yung chemical formula ng uh, octane. Okay? So, kailangan naman natin ngayon makuha yung chemical structure niya. No? So, sabi dito, we have 8 carbon. So, sulat muna natin yung carbon. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
6, 7, 8. And then, since this is an alkyne, that means we have triple bond here. So, I'm going to write the triple bond here now. And then, we have 1 in here because carbon have 4 bonds. So, 1 in here. And these all are having 3 uh, more bonds, no? So, we have 4 bonds in each carbon. And since this is a hydrocarbon, lahat ng natitira is having hydrogen. Okay, so sabi natin ang ating chemical formula is C8H14. So, we have 8 carbons here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now, we should have 14 hydrogen here. Kapag naging 14 ang ating hydrogen, then that means tama itong ginamit nating formula. So, let us count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So, therefore, tama itong ating sagot dito. So, this is the chemical structure of octane. Okay? So, I hope uh, na intindihan ninyo itong ating lecture today. So, we can use this general formula ng ating mga hydrocarbon in determining the chemical formula and the chemical structure given the name of our organic compounds, particularly yung hydrocarbon natin ngayon.